Show. Well, we were wondering when we could have our costumes. Yes. And we're making things for it, Max, because we'll need a fairy castle and a giant's castle. Yes. Oh, and beans. Oh, yes, beans. Uh, yeah, the talk. Huh? Beans that talk, Jake. Yeah, Mike said. Uh, he said it was going to be uh, Jake and his beans talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jake. No, it's Jake and the beanstalk. Oh. A huge plant with beans growing out of it that Jake climbs up. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, Max, oh. when are we going to do our show? Oh, well, yeah. Tomorrow, so we haven't got much time to get ready for it. Oh. Now, let's have a look at how we're going to stage it first. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, now then. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Uh, I think the activity area with the sand and water should be, yes, the good fairy's castle. Oh, oh. I hope I'm the good fairy. Oh, yes, the TV area could be the outside of the giant's castle because that's the bad side. Oh. Yes, the bad side's always on that side for Panto. Mm. Did you know that? <laughs> no, no, Max! No. Oh, well, it is. Oh. <laughs> now then. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes, the playhouse could be Dame Trot's dairy. <laughs> yeah, oh. that'd be perfect. Oh. Um. Uh -oh. um <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the surprise area. Oh. Yes, that could be, could the, be the inside uh, of the giant's uh, castle, Max. Oh, oh good yeah. idea, Milo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the beanstalk will grow up just in front of the clock there. Oh. <laughs> right, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, now all your parents, I think, could sit uh, over here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My daddy can come. Right, now, any questions? Uh, what's a... D oh, uh, what's a dame? <laughs> oh, Jake, Dame Trot is Jake's mum. And remember, I said that the dame is played by a man. A man? Pardon? It is. Oh, come on, I'll show you. Twenty o'clock. A little bit stop. Well, Now, this is what I meant by a dame. Someone's head. Keeping his hair off his face. Yes. Oh, no, he's putting squiggly lines on his face. <laughs>
love lipstick. Rosebud lips. <laughs> 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 Now for a bit of powder. <laughs> Is that a spider? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you shouldn't put glue near your eyes. No, 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 but this is special glue, Milo. Oh. Oh, they're big! <laughs> oh, now varnish! I like painting my nails. Oh. Shiny. Mm. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it looks funny! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now he looks like a lady! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dame Trot, and I, I work the one and only dairy in Merrydale with my little cow, Daisy. <laughs> oh, wowee! Oh, that man looked like a woman when he had all his makeup on. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Max, huh? who's going to be the dame in our panto? Yeah. Well, Fizz, you know, I thought I'd be the dame in our show. Oh. Well, you see, I've done a bit of amateur dramatics in my time, and well, I'm sure I've got some stage makeup left oh. over. Oh, that'll be really. <laughs> Funny. What do you mean? Max with a dress on! <laughs> <laughs> well, you think that's funny, Bella? Judy's gonna play the giant! <laughs> <laughs> and which part are we going to play, Max? Oh, yes, right. Uh, let me see now. Yeah. Um, oh. Fizz is gonna be the beautiful princess. Oh, that's what you wanted, Fizz! Yes, I know. Yes. Uh, uh, Bella, you can be the good fairy. Oh, oh. And that's what I wanted to be. Uh, Milo? Yes? You can be Flesh Creep. Yeah. Oh, Flesh Creep? Yeah. That's a funny name. Uh, oh. What does he do? Oh, he's the giant's assistant, Milo. Oh. He does all the giant's dirty work. Oh. Yeah. Now, and Jake, yeah, you're cool. going to be Dame Trot's son, oh. Jake, who climbs up the beanstalk. Oh, oh. goody! Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, Max. Uh, uh, what is Doodles going to play? Doodles? Uh, oh, uh, well, let me think. Uh, uh, oh, I know. Yes, Doodles can play Daisy the cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doodles the cow. <laughs> woof, woof, woo. <laughs> woof, woof, woo. <laughs> hey, hey, Doodles the movie star. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think it's time to get going and make some scenery for our panto. <laughs> You can hardly see the floor. Well, what's all this for, Judy? Well, we've got lots to do, so we'd better get started. Oh. Now, um, Fizz, will you sit at the messy table and paint us a sign for Dame Trot's dairy? I know. I'll do a cow. Oh, good oh. idea. And now, Bella, would you paint the fairy castle, please? Um, yes, Judy. I think I'll use pink and silver and probably glitter. <laughs> and Milo, you paint the outside of the giant's castle. Oh, oh and use green and purple, OK? Uh, uh, can I use black as well? Oh. I suppose so, Milo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jake, what will we get you to do? I don't know. Well, I know. Why don't you cut out some leaves of this green paper? All right, then, Judy. We'll make them big because they're for the giant beanstalk. All right, Judy. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, come on, Dudos. Uh, you can help me. OK. And I'll paint some big stones and bricks with this sponge for the surprise area wall. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Judy? <laughs> yes, Jake? Whoa. Uh, what is the story of the beanstalk, Judy? Oh, wow, it's a long story, Jake. Oh. You see, once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived with his mother, Dame Trot. Oh. He was called Jack, and they worked very hard to run the dairy in a place called Merrydale. Oh, and they had a cow called Daisy. Yeah, that's me. Uh, I mean me. <laughs> now, the one thing that kept the village prosperous was a magic harp that the king brought out every year to play for the villagers. Oh. Yes, 
But there was a horrible big giant who lived up in Cloudland and his helper... Oh, what was he called, Judy? Oh, flesh Creep. Flesh Creep. <laughs> he used to come to the village and steal all sorts of things for the giant. <sighs> One day he came to the village and stole the magic harp. Oh, that wasn't very nice, Judy. No, it was terrible, Jake, because the village started to die. <sighs> Nothing grew in the fields, the flowers died, and Daisy the cow stopped giving milk. Oh, no. Oh, what did uh, Dame Rot do? Oh, Dame Trot, Jake, had to send Jack to the market to sell Daisy. Oh, naughty, fleshy, creepy thing. But he didn't get to the market. On his way there, he met an old lady who wanted to buy Daisy for five beans. Mm. Five beans? <laughs> I bet he didn't sell Daisy for five beans. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did? Yeah. You see, they were magic beans, Jake. Now, let's see how you're doing with those leaves. Ah, the beanstalk leaves. Oh. Uh -huh. So Jack took the beans back to his mum, and his mum was so angry that she put him to bed and threw the beans out of the window. Oh, oh Jack was so sad. But during the night, the beans started to grow and grow and oh. grow. In the morning, there was a huge beanstalk reaching right up to the sky. Oh. And Jack just stood and stared. Oh. Judy, what about the princess? Oh, yes, the princess. Yeah, uh, what mm. happened to the princess, Fizzy? <laughs> well, Flesh Creep had taken the princess to the giant and she was to be married to him. Oh. Jack was very upset because he loved the princess mm. and he wanted to marry her. Yeah. And um, as they were standing staring at the beanstalk, the old woman appeared. She threw off her cloak and she was really a good fairy. Oh, and I'm playing the good fairy in our pantomime. We, we know, know Bella. Bella. Yes, well, um, she gave Jack a sword mm. and told him the only way to rescue the princess was to climb the beanstalk and bring her and the harp back to Merrydale. Whoa! Oh, uh, did Jack uh, climb the stalk eating? Oh, yes, he did, Jake. He was very brave. Oh. He took the sword and climbed and climbed and climbed. He eventually reached the top and found himself in Cloudland. Oh, okay. And there in front of him was the huge castle that the giant lived in. Well, we did he go in? Yes, he did, mate. Oh. He sneaked in and found the princess and the harp. Yippee! He won! Oh, he oh. won! Not yet, Jakey. Just as he was rescuing the princess, the giant arrived looking for his dinner. Yeah, and he shouted something like, uh, Hee hi hum! Yeah. Um, I've fallen on my bum! <laughs> <laughs> Milo, it was fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Oh no! Be he alive or be he dead, <gasps> I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh no, hide! Oh, it's a bit scary. Oh, that's right, Jake. Very scary. The giant was enormous. <laughs> But Jack hid until a giant had eaten a huge plate of sausages and asked the magical harp to play for him. What did it play? Oh, yes. It played the sweetest music. And in a few minutes, the giant was fast asleep. This was Jack's chance. Oh. He took the princess and the harp and ran as fast as he could out of the castle. But he bumped into Flesh Creep, who woke the giant, and they both chased after them. Jack and the princess reached the top of the beanstalk and started to climb down. But they could hear the giant's footsteps coming closer and closer. Oh, did they escape? Well, they reached the bottom of the beanstalk, where Dame Trot, the king, and all the villagers were waiting. Oh, hooray, hooray! Oh, no, no, no. Jack, it's not the end yet. Oh. The giant was coming down the beanstalk! Oh, no, it's no, scary! No, 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 no. Jack saw that the giant was coming down, so he took his sword and chopped down the beanstalk. Oh. The huge beanstalk with the giant at the top crashed to the Crash. ground, and the giant was never seen again. And Jack married the princess, mm. and because the heart was back, everyone in Merrydale lived happily ever after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh uh, Judy, mm? um, what happened to Flesh Creep? Oh, uh, he was stuck up in the giant's castle. They never saw him again either. Mm. Oh. Good. Yeah. Oh. That was the story oh. of Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm. Now, has everyone finished their little jobs? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, good. Well, let's put it all up and see what it looks like. Yes. <laughs>
like it too, Bella, but I like the giants better. <laughs> oh, I wish my dad could come and see it. Oh, wow, this looks splendid, yes. What a lot of hard work you've all done. Well done. Mm. Uh, Max, Max, this is where Flesh Creek will be over here. Oh, and Max, um, uh, this is the uh, Good Fairies Castle. I painted it all by myself. Oh, splendid, Bella. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I painted this sign for the dairy, Max. Oh, and very good it is too, Fizz. Nah, nah. And what did you do, Jake? Well, I cut the leaves for the uh, stocky thingy. Oh, well done, the boy. Fantastic. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, I think we're just about ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> Moo! <laughs> Not yet, Dindles! Tant Christmas! So we've got a treat. A story just for you. It's called A CBB's Christmas Carol, with songs and dancing too. On TV, radio or online, join in with favourite friends. There's so many ways to have good fun, the magic never ends. <gasps> A CBB's Christmas Carol, tomorrow at 4.45 on CBB's and CBB's HD. Or go to the CBB's website... It's that special time of year Everyone is full of cheer The Christmas lights are dancing on the tree Wrapping paper, bows and string This present won't stop wriggling Excitement in the air for all to see <laughs> We hung the decorations A room fit for a king It's looking great No, just you wait This tree needs one more thing It's Christmas again See babies, we're here to play It's Christmas time, it's Christmas time Hooray! Get ready It's Christmas again Time for laughter and fun and games It's Christmas time, it's Christmas time Hooray! It's Christmas time Get ready See babies time Together It's Christmas time Beep, beep, beep.